you do your job, that's something that you know how to do. All right, I'm going to describe what I saw. I'm going to take this interview. I'm going to play an excerpt from it. It gave me something to do. So I felt like I was keeping my own sanity while helping others. You feel like now more than ever is when I'm needed. This is my job. And you just have to keep going. But at a certain point, you also, people definitely get burnt out. You can't just do that 24-7. And our news director, Kevin Beasley at the time, he had he'd been a, a Jerusalem bureau chief, I think, for one of the major networks for a while. And he said, look, you know, I've seen this before. You've, you guys have to take turns. You have to have days off. And he wisely told us, go away. <laughs> you know, don't, don't come in. Stay home for a day. I didn't want to hear from you, you know. So he tried to take care of us as best he could. But we were a very small operation. For me to cover something like that, I had been, I was 35 years old. I'd been working at the station for probably six or seven years. And I was starting to think of other things I could do with my life. I'd begun putting out feelers for interviews elsewhere. And when this happened, it really cemented my feeling that this is what I need to do. My job is to cover the city of New York where I was born, where there are all these people from all over the world and this incredible energy that you can't see anywhere else. And my city was attacked. I feel an obligation to cover the aftermath of this and what's going to happen next. And I never looked back after that. I felt like it was, this was my job. And I'm still here at WNYC. And I'm really happy to say I no longer cover politics. And I now cover education, which is really meaningful to me. And I've loved doing those stories on the different communities all over New York and children and families and schools. And I just feel like I'm a New York City reporter. This is what I do.